So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, large amount of conne concurrent connections in Nginx. Uh, first, a little bit about us. We are the web's community of communities. Um, you may have noticed our little comment widget on many different sites like NPR, CNN, Fox News, Next Web. Uh, a little bit about you know some numbers. We get about 1.3 billion unique visit visitors a month. Uh, 10, billion page, 10 billion page views. Um, we have about 5 million users engaged in discussions about 3 million communities with over 25 million comments. You know, no big deal. Um, what it really means for Nginx for us is real time. Um, our real time looks a little bit like this. Uh, users post comments or votes to discuss, which is Python, which then gets consumed by a service in Go called real time, which then pushes it out to f only five Nginx machines, which all of our users are connected to at any given time. Um, it's all run by a module called PushStream. It uh, supports event source, web sockets, long polling. Um, written by uh, Wandenberg, he uh, uh, works at Globo.com. Um, so big props to him because it's pretty much all his work. Um, on a normal day, each machine uh, sees about uh, 3,200 connections a second, or 1 million concurrent connections. Um, we only, you know, get not so much packets or data being sent across. It's, you know, normal day. Uh, what we like is the latency, uh, under 15 milliseconds, uh, which actually tends to be faster than our uh, JavaScript can render the comment after somebody posts it. Um, so we actually have a uh, a breaker in our, in our JavaScript that if they see a comment that was just posted coming through real time to ignore it. Uh, that was an interesting bug to, uh, to track down for one of our front end engineers one time. And here is not so normal day, or week. Oh, it's not really showing. Um, this was last year uh, during a very, very bad week um, for multiple reasons. Has anybody noticed this in their logs before? Or this one? Or even this one? All three of these were plaguing uh, our machines when we first started uh, rolling out this real-time system. Um, thankfully, we found uh, that it's not too bad. It's actually just a few little syscontrol settings. Um, we use Ubuntu. Uh, right now, it's all, everything's on precise 1204. Uh, I, think, I believe it's a 3.2 kernel. So some of them, you know, there's some, some default settings that aren't too bad. Some of them are bad. It seems to be mostly tuned for a few number of connections at high speed. However, we're talking a million or more connections at a time and very little amount of data. So the idea most of these do is it's just increasing some backlogs, some buffers, memory allocation, um, and then also reducing the number of connections that stay around after they're closed or not closed. Um, and so it's, it's really just lowering, you know, increasing memory, lowering timeouts, lowering retries, making TCP less reliable. We just comments. We don't really care. Nginx really not much there either. Again, all it's doing is increasing some memory and decreasing connection, uh, lingering time and connection timeouts. Again, because we don't really care if a user does not, or don't really care that a user gets a comment in real time. They're most likely refreshing the page anyways. So it's really, um, it's lowering the timeouts and that helps the most because we just don't need connections sitting there doing nothing. Uh, we do have connections that, um, not on the main, our main real, uh, real time, but on our back in real time, have, we have connections that have lived for weeks. So it's really not an issue with the exact same settings minus the, time, the connection TTL in Pushstream. And that doesn't show either. The other thing we uh, was a gotcha was we were running out of network bandwidth before anything else. Um, first we ran out of gigabit network and now we use 10 gigabit Nix, and that helped a lot. Uh, but the easiest thing to do was just enable gzip. Um, by default, uh, that was not a great idea. Nginx uh, pre-allocates 264 kilobytes per connection immediately, um, as soon as you're connected. 
Now, when you're sending messages that are less than two kilobytes, that's a little large. Um, after a little digging around, I was able to determine a couple Nginx settings, uh, gzip window and gzip hash, that were not documented at the time to lower that, the, that pre-allocation to, uh, to only 32 kilobytes, which we no longer ran out of memory for Nginx. Uh, some links, and yeah, we're hiring. Anybody have any questions? Uh, they were mul there were multi multi vector queues. Um, I even uh, in our actual settings, I do have each uh, nginx process tied to a single CPU. I even use the uh, Intel shell script to distribute all the the IR queues across every core. There was no no change. Um, there was maybe a slight decrease in the delay of of connections and time to first byte, but nothing to yell about. Thanks very much, John. Thank you.